Hey guys, just finished the tournament on Webster today. I want to go through some things because it's summertime. We need to take care of our fish, but one thing I'm going to try and show you is how to clean your live well properly. It's not that hard of a thing. It doesn't take that long, and we'll go from here. These are the kind of things you're going to need. I use distilled white vinegar and hydrogen peroxide. I got a nitro. The live wells are separated. We're going to clean both of them at the same time. I'll show you guys how. All right, guys. So I took out my back seat because, yeah, like Andy Bus says, I'm old and I always use a back seat. But it comes in handy, especially on windy days like today. Uh, live wells. You can see they get some gunk in them. There's all kinds of stuff down there. So the live wells have these screens that you can just reach down. I know on a nitro they pull up pretty easy, but you can see they get caked with stuff. I'm going to set those to the side for now. Pull this one out. Yeah, you can see all the crawfish pieces and parts. They've been munching. So the first thing I'm going to do is just spray them out simply with a hose try to get try to wash as much of that as i can straight out of it i like to spray off the screens aerators they collect a lot. Let those drain. Always give the other one a good rinse. Don't forget to spray that baby off. As you can see, we're not draining real well, so I'm gonna put this in there and just shoot it straight down. Stuff will clog a, a line up in a hurry. You figure crawfish pieces, minnows, sometimes baits, pieces of plastic, whatever them fish eat are going in there. Alright, now we're draining. Alright, they don't look too bad right now. But the problem is with all that stuff in there, you get a lot of bacteria buildup. And a way to keep these fish healthy is get rid of that bacteria, and I'll show you how first thing we're going to do is just close these live wells and then fill them up with water. So this one, I don't know, a quarter of the way full or so. I'm going to go ahead and add one whole bottle of hydrogen peroxide. Dump that baby right in. Let it mix up with the water. Then I'm gonna put in a half gallon of vinegar. I just use one gallon, half on each side. Mine are separated. If you have one that's combined, one gallon should be sufficient no matter what. You can see she's starting to bubble. That means it's cleaning. I like to fill them all the way up. On the nitro, this is your drain. So when it gets up to that level, I'll be cutting her off. But other than that, I'm going to let it fill up. No soap involved, guys. And you don't buy, got to buy the good stuff, buy the cheap stuff. The other thing you want to add, guys, is your coal tags. They're always in that nasty water. Just flip them right in. They need disinfected too.
So you guys know hydrogen peroxide, what it does when it reaches bad stuff. Look at them bubbles. I'm going to go ahead and turn on the aerator system and go through all of that also. I'm going to let it run for about a half hour. Right now it's filling up and going through the drain, but I'm going to let it get as high as I can. Make sure them babies get underneath. You want to disinfect everything. So you can see how the bubbles are starting to slow down. That means you're cleaning, guys. Getting rid of all that yuck. I'm filling up the other one right now. Just let that aerator run. Make sure you get it through that pump. Same thing on the other side, guys. Bottle of hydrogen peroxide. Stuff's cheap, it doesn't cost that much. And the rest of the vinegar. And then we see the happiness start. Usually I'll come home from a tournament, I'll just open them up and spray them out with a hose, wipe it down with a rag sometimes if it's that bad, which probably most of us do. But I would try this once a month, it'll really help. It just, it, it cleans the system, it cleans the lines, cleans the pumps. You can't go wrong with it. I don't know if you guys can see the tent here. You can see the yuck coming to the surface. That stuff's eating it up. You gotta love it. When you got two good flows coming out, you know you got a lot out of the system. All right, guys, so we're all drained out. I'm just gonna give her a quick rinse. Make sure you get any residue or what have you out of those. So you wash your screen, the cold tag, all that good stuff. Get it all. So you can see all the little pieces. There's no telling what comes out of them live wells, guys. I appreciate you guys watching. I hope this helps. If anything, it helps the fish, and that's the main goal. Fish on tackle, guys. If you're in the area, stop by. Dumb Wheeler sent you. We'll see you out there.